Hello, this is Congressman Jim Jordan coming to you from Washington, where President Obama is about to give his first State of the Union address. As a conservative, I have opposed the reckless spending and massive government expansion we've seen from Washington over the past year. The $787 billion stimulus bill failed to create the jobs the President promised. His budgets ballooned our deficit to record levels, and the bailouts raised spending even further. Now on top of all this reckless spending, the President says he wants to increase spending even more, then freeze spending at today's ultra-high level. I'm here to say that continuing to spend at today's levels will put this country on a collision course with disaster. This is nothing more than asking taxpayers to foot the bill for a new stimulus and new bailouts every year. Last week, the voters of Massachusetts sent a clear message to Washington, stop the big spending. The President heard the same message from job creators last week in Ohio. Big spending doesn't create jobs. It just creates debt that our children and grandchildren must pay back. I don't support the reckless spending, but I have supported the concept of a freeze, but only if it starts at a lower number. If the President is willing to freeze non-defense discretionary federal spending at the levels from when he took office, before the stimulus, before the big bailouts, then that's a great place to start. My balanced budget plan does just that. It freezes spending at pre-bailout levels, then makes a modest 1% cut per year for nine years. It protects Social Security, increases Medicare, increases Medicaid and national defense, but it eliminates earmarks, stops the bailouts, and cuts the budgets of members of Congress first. We still have time to get this right. Freezing spending is great, but not at the mammoth levels they are today. Freezing them at the levels from one year ago puts us on a path to turning the tide, moving towards a balanced budget, and getting our economy back on the right path. This is Congressman Jim Jordan signing off for now. Please visit our website at jordan.house.gov and let me know what you think about the President's address this evening. Thank you and God bless.